Hi, and welcome to the third section of this course. In this section, we'll talk about the Git merging. We will learn the difference between a fast forward and a three way merge. We will see how we can merge using different strategies. And at the end, we will see how we can sign a merge commit using the GPG software. Let's start with our first video. In this video, we will talk about the difference between a fast forward and a three way merge. So we will see when Git creates a fast forward or a three way merge. And we will see in which cases a three way merge can have some conflicts. The fast forward merge is the simplest merge that you can have. It's basically the optimal solution. As you can see in this picture, I have two branches. I have the master branch and another branch that is called the issue 53. And so let's suppose that now I'm done with the issue 53 and I want to merge back the changes into the master branch. What happened in this case, it's a fast forward merge. The fast forward merge can be applied only in case the current branch is an ancestor of the branch that you want to merge. In this case, if the master branch is the current branch and you want to merge the issue 53 branch, then in this case, you can apply the fast forward merge. And basically what the fast forward merge does, it moves the label master instead of pointing to the commit two, in this case, it points to commit three. And in this case, we cannot have any conflict. It's a very simple process. Let's try to simulate it via command line. I have here my repository. Let's start creating the branch for the issue 53. Now we can create a here a commit just for test. Let's see the state of this repository now. We have a branch master here, and then we have another branch that points here. If we now suppose that we want to merge this issue 53 branch into the master branch, what do we expect here? It's a fast forward merge. And this is exactly what happens. As you can see here from the output, this was indeed a fast forward merge. And if we see the status of the repository now, both branches point to the last commit. A little difference is the three-way merge, as you can see here. So the normal flow is that you create a branch and you start working on this branch, for example, this if issue 53, but then it can happen that someone else is also working on the master branch, maybe some outpicks or something else. In this case, so we have a branch master that points to the commit C4, and an issue 53 branch that points to the commit C5. If we try to merge back issue 53 to the master branch, in this case, it's not possible to use the fast forward approach. We cannot just move the master label to the C5 commit because otherwise we will lose all the changes that we have on C4. So what do we need to do in this case? In this case, what we need to do is to find the commons ancestor that in this case is C2 and then comparing what was the state of a file in C2 then we can decide what the changes uh, are applied on C4 and what are the changes that are applied on C5. And then we can create the merge commit. Let's quickly simulate this on our project. So I have on branch issue 53 and I can create here some commits. I create the three empty commits. Then I move into master. And I also created some commit here on master. Now it looks like this. So we have a master branch that points to this commit, and then we have an issue 53 branch that points to this commit. If we now want to merge this branch into master branch, it's not possible to use a fast forward anymore. So let's see what's happened in this case. And that's actually as we expected. Now we created a commit that is a merge commit. We need to specify a description for this. And the output of the command is merge made by the recursive strategy. As you can see here, is not a fast forward merge anymore. Unfortunately, this can cause us some trouble because it can be that two people edited the same file on the same line into different commits. So let's suppose that your common ancestor on line 11 has a string that says conquering git. But then you are working on issue 53, and then on this issue, you change this line, the line 11, to mastering Git instead of conquering. And someone else 
maybe by mistake, changes on master or merges some pull request, and now the, the line 11 says a conquering SVN instead of a conquering git. So then when you want to merge ISO 53 on master, the result is not clear. Git cannot understand what you want to have from the final file, because on both master and the ISO 53, there are changes on the same line. In this case, Git will create a conflict and we need to fix manually. One solution to this problem is to not let your branch to diverge a lot from the master branch and pull the changes from the master branch multiple times per day. 